matrix arithmetic. That's where we're going to start today. Now, two matrices are equal if they are exactly the same matrix. That means they have the same order. It means they also have the same elements, the same numbers, in the same spot. Underneath you've got two matrices. One, two, three, four is that matrix. It's exactly the same as the one right next to it. One, two, three, four. Okay, these are equal matrices. You see the one underneath, one, two, three, four, and the next one's four, three, two, one. They've got the same numbers, but they're not in the same positions. So these are not equal. We can add and subtract matrices. Um, just the only most important thing is they have to have the same order. That means the same number of rows and the same number of columns. We add or subtract elements that are in the same position. So let's do a couple. Here we've got a matrix A and a matrix B and it says find A plus B. Show the examiners that you know what you're doing. Write the matrix A plus B. They actually physically write it all out again right, as well. That's right. There it is then there. write the two matrices with the plus in between. Okay, there's those two matrices there. We're just going to put a little circle around them. Now we add these two. These two are in the same position. Two plus zero. We add them. We keep them in the same position. The next one is the three and the two is in the same position. We add those two. The next one is zero and three. So we add those two. Now we move on to the second line. 1 and the 2, and we add those. 4 plus the negative 2. Make sure you put the 4 plus the negative 2. You can change it to 4 minus 2 straight away, but just remember. And the last one is 2 plus the 1. And then we add them. So 2 plus 0 is 2, 3 plus 2 is 5, 0 plus 3 is 3. Second line, 1 plus 2 is 3, 4 plus negative 2 is the same as 4 minus 2, so that's just 2. And 2 plus 1 is 3. That's adding matrices. Subtracting is done exactly the same way, except, of course, instead of adding, we are taking away. Same position. Matrices in the same position. So 2 minus the 1. The 3 minus the 2. The 0 minus the 3. And then in the second line, 1 minus the 2. The 4 minus the negative 2 and the 2 minus the 1. When we do this, we get 2 minus 1 is 1. 3 minus 2 is 1. 0 minus 3 is negative 3. 1 minus 2 is negative 1. 4 minus negative 2 becomes 4 plus 2, so we get 6. And 2 minus 1 is 1. So that's how we subtract matrices. Multiplying matrices by a scalar, a scalar is just a number. We have to times everything inside the matrix by that number. But how do we write it? We write it like this. Here we've got this example. A is this matrix. C is this other matrix. We have to find 3A and we have to find 0.5C. Let's do the 3A first. 3 times A. Matrix A was 2 3, 0, 1, 4, 2, and we're going to times everything in there by the number 3. You don't have to show this line of the working out. Okay, so you don't have to show 3 times 2 like we have here, or 3 times 3, or 3 times a 0, or even the well, second one. just got to look at it and multiply them by 3, anyway. That's right, just times all the numbers by 3. So when you times all the numbers by 3, first line you get 6, 3 times 3 is 9 for the second number, 3 times 0 is 0. And the second one, 3 times 1 is 3, 3 times 4 is 12, 3 times 2 is 6. The other one we had to do was 0.5c. 0 0.5c. 0 half, half every number? Half every number. C is 4, negative 4, negative 2 is 6. Half of 4, 2. Half of negative 4, negative 2. Half of negative 2, negative 1. Half of 6, 3. Very easy to do. Sometimes doing things on your calculator takes longer. The zero matrix. A zero matrix is a matrix which we classify as the zero, where all the letters, all those elements are zeros. That's all it is. All the letters are zeros. Because if we add and subtract matrices, well, sorry, not add, subtract matrices, we can get all zeros. So we have to have a zero matrix. 
pretty self-explanatory. It can be anyone. All right, here, zero matrix. It says G is this, H is this, show that three times G minus two times H equals zero. Bond maths is important here. You don't take away the matrices. You have to do the three times the G first. So you've got to show all working there. out as well. So this is showing the working yep. out. Yeah. And then minus, minus two. two times the H. So when we do three times the first one, we get three sixes are 18. Three zeros, three, uh, zero. Three times negative four, negative 12. Three times a two is six. You can leave it as a negative and then you're times the second matrix by the two. So two times a nine, 18. Two times a zero, zero. Two times a negative six, negative 12. And two times three is six. We've kept the minus outside. So now we take the two away. 18 minus 18, zero. Zero minus zero, zero. Negative 12 minus a negative 12 becomes plus negative 12, or plus 12, so we get zero. And six, take away, six gives us zero. There we go, we've shown that it's like that. Always start with something that you can do. No point starting on the right hand side. We started with the three G minus a two H. Your calculator, you're able to do all this onto your calculator. It's very easy to do on your calculator. You first, you don't need to store it, but if you want to, you can. You can just go to the address book and get the matrix up and put in the matrices. Then press the plus for the first one or minus for the second one and press this ma next matrix, type them in and press enter. So all the steps are there anyway for you. The so. steps are there, that's right. Just follow them and we go through it in class as well. 26C, thank you.